Matt Shrigley, the star of the game mm. with 15 points, Billy Ray. Sharp shooter. Four for seven from three-point range. He is San Diego's own and San Diego State up-and-comer. Matt Shrigley making his first ever appearance on the Scott and BR show on the Mighty 1090. Matt, good afternoon. Hey, how you guys doing? Doing really good. Yourself? I'm doing good. Yeah. How'd that feel last night? Um, you know, it felt good. Yeah, you were feeling it, dude. I mean, every time you had the ball in your hands, I was like sitting right there going, give it to him. Give it. Feed him. And feed you who? Just, feed Shrigley. 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 Yeah. And, then, and just had the, the rotation and the right. follow through, just feeling it last so night. So you were calling the plays. Well, I wasn't calling the plays. I well, just it you know, was like speaking out loud is no, what I was seriously. doing. So Shriggs, how'd it go, man? It felt good, huh? <laughs> yeah. I mean, I know my, my teammates saw me in, in the open spots on the floor and I was able to luckily knock some shots down. All right. Uh, how was, uh, you have classes today? No, I did not. You know, I had to go to class still. No, no, you did have class today, right? Oh, yeah. Had, yeah. Had Dude, a, you want to have today. class right, after that, right. right? Even if you don't have class. <laughs> you you want to walk in the room and go, right. yo. I'm in the house. <laughs> Everybody see the game? <laughs> <laughs> That's funny, but yeah, I had a class today. All right. All right. When, and is that when you walked in, did everybody like give you the high fives or what? Yeah, you know, you get a little bit of love, but it's, it's not too much. Nothing too overwhelming. All right. Matt Shrigley <laughs> is... From La Costa Canyon High School. Right. Now, yep. you, you had James Rahan from Torrey Pines. Now you've got Shrigley from La Costa Canyon. Now you got this kid coming in next year from St. Augustine. Mm-hmm. I'm telling you, dude, it looks like San Diego State now is going to start getting, whether it's right away out of high school or transferring home after going somewhere else. Like, the Aztecs are going to start getting the best player every year in San Diego. What do you think about that, Matt? I mean, that's just kind of what... What uh, what the, what the recruits see, whether from San Diego or not, it's just they go to these games and they see the crowd and they see the the coaches and they see the atmosphere and they're just drawn to it. And you know, luckily we've been able to get some some good San Diego players. Matt, where where else did you visit? Did you did you take a look at any other schools? Um, I had an unofficial to Colorado, but other than that, I really didn't look anywhere else. I didn't take any of my official visits. Didn't really go. Look anywhere else. I kind of always knew I wanted to go to uh, San Diego State. Well, I'm wondering now about that because you're how old? 20. Okay, so for the last, say, eight years or so, going back to when you were a little guy, 12 years old. Uh-huh. It wasn't little, by the way. Well, I mean, I don't know. How big were you at 12? Were you 6'6 six, six or 12? <laughs> I don't know. I couldn't tell you. Yeah, all right. Well, anyway, the point is, back when you're a kid at 12 years old, mm-hmm. that's when San Diego State starts coming on. And, and so you tell us, where were you living, and, and were you just a, a big Aztec fan? Were you just dreamt of playing for San Diego State? Uh, I mean, when I was a little kid, I wasn't as big of a uh, a fan with anyone, really. And as when I got into high school, they were the first school to contact me and first school to really show me interest and kind of just kind of just was drawn to them from the start, just from showing me interest and always – Always talking to me and, and really being the first big school to, to 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 try to recruit me. All right. Well, I think. Listen again. Rayhan transfers home. You go straight from high school. This young man from Saint Augustine. He's coming straight from high school. Mm-hmm. I mean, it, it's that's what it's supposed to be. Yeah. You know, I wish it was that way in football, where the best two or three or four players in San Diego County always wanted to go to San Diego State. And I think that you making that choice, the kid who's coming from Saint Augustine next year, making that choice. That that is that's kind of that's trailblazing yeah. for for kids to come, whether it's five ten years from now, dude. Oh yeah, definitely. I think you know it's always it's always a big perk to have a have your hometown school happen to just be one of the top schools in the nation, and that and that obviously is a that's that's exciting. So I think so. I think it'll be good for San Diego, and it'll be good for a lot of the the good young players out of out of San Diego too. All right. Have you have you noticed Coach Fish trying to? Trying to make sure that you guys are, are kind of just kind of keeping it down a little bit and, and not kind of getting a little overly excited just because of, of what might be in your future. Um, I mean, no, not really. We uh, we all know what, what our goal is and what and what we need to do. So we're all very focused on what on the game coming up and then in our future and just staying on track and staying and staying focused on what we need to do. All right, Matt Shrigley, last night, four for seven from three-point range, 15 points on the night. So uh, I want to just go back because I find the whole local side of this story very interesting. Um, where would you go to middle school? Oak Crest Middle School. Okay, where, where is that? 
um, in the Encinitas area. Okay, so is that where you grew up in Encinitas, in that part of town? Yeah, Encinitas, Carlsbad. Yep. Okay, and then and then La Costa Canyon for high school. Mm-hmm. Um, as a kid, were you one of those kids that every weekend was like out at AIU playing in those basketball leagues and stuff? <laughs> yes, I was out there all the time. What what club were you playing for? Oh, back then I played for the Young Mavs. And were you like a guy? And, and be honest here, because I go out there all the time. My my thirteen year old plays in those leagues, right? Mm-hmm. And on a regular Saturday, there's like I don't know, let's say eight basketball courts, which means there's ten players on each court. That's yep. eighty kids at one time. It's really hard. I've never seen a kid twelve or thirteen years old really 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 stand out mm-hmm. were you at, at 12 or 13 a standout player if there were 80 kids playing in that bubble that day um i don't know if you call me a standout player because that young we kind of just ran around and whoever was fastest was the best but i had a good little i had a good little a good little team around me so we were we were just a real good team overall so we kind of all stood out as a group yeah, I just wonder though, because when you're a six foot six inch, and are you truly six six? Yeah. <laughs> what was that giggle? What, 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 was, what, what do was, you mean? Well, because come on, they guys lie all the time about their height. <laughs> but no, I'm I'm really six six. Okay, I mean, and, and were you six six your senior year in high school? Um, uh, yeah. So this is it. I think so. Yeah, this is kind of what we're getting out of this body. Yeah. Is, is six feet six about inches as, as tall as you can mm-hmm. get? Yeah, that's no, about that's, so. that's about it. All right. I just, I, I find it's, look, here's the thing that I've kind of come to learn. That you got to be, to get a scholarship to a Division One basketball program, especially one that's on the rise the way San Diego State is, I mean, you've got to be a great, great high school basketball player. And so a lot of these guys that you're playing with, when we talked to Winston Shepard, I mean, this guy's been on the tour, like the AAU kind of tour, seemingly since he was probably 10, 11 years old. Have you been on that? Mm-hmm. Um, no, I really didn't play the high high level AAU till I got into high school, and so when I was younger, it wasn't wasn't as high level stuff. And then got into high school, and that's where I started playing more more of the the around the nation AAU basketball. And then you come back to San Diego State. Your redshirt of your freshman year was that was that tough to sit through that that redshirt year? Oh uh, yeah, definitely. But then you kind of just gotta accept it, and and then start start working hard from there, and making making your game better. How do you, if you can, I mean, I don't know how you can describe this or not, but how do you, how can you find some consistency? Because even last night, we're all sitting there going, God, if Shrigley could just get hot, you know, and then all of a sudden you did. And by the way, the team needed it last night because you know X has gone ice cold. What can you do to get more consistent, Matt? Um, you kind of just have to take take advantage of your opportunities. And, you know, it's like getting that first look. It's It's, it's big to make the first one and then, you know, it's always nice making the second one, and then you just kind of start getting in the flow of the game. And, and X is such a good player that if he if he knows, you know, someone's getting hot, whether it's me or or DP or, or AQ or Winston, he he's going to get us the ball in the right the right spot at the right time, and that's that's why he's such a good player. Do they call you MS? <laughs> no. Okay, well, DP and AQ right. and yeah, everybody's going cool. by their initials. Yeah, I love that. And MS is probably not a good one. No, I mean, they, no they, not me. They, uh, no. What do they call you? DP and AQ. Uh, Shriggs or Matt? Yeah, oh, Matt. Gotta be right, Shriggs. Right, Shriggs. Come yeah. on, man. That's cool. I like the announcer last night. One, two, three, Shriggly. Like, I, there was something <laughs> like that. Could, could you hear it? No, I, I, didn't, I didn't notice that. Uh, mom and dad or high school friends, lots of people coming to your games, or, or what's going on there? Uh, really just my family. I get four tickets a game, so it goes to mom and dad and my two sisters. Anybody else in the fam, or it's just the five? Uh, that's it. Older sisters, younger sisters, in between? Older sister and a younger sister. All right, so middle mm-hmm. child. And mm-hmm. at, what, at what point do you know that you're not just a good, white guy, skinny, high school basketball player, you're like a real Division One prospect? When does that happen in your career? Um, I don't know. I kind of just was having fun with it and it started getting a little bit of tension and then from there just just kind of was trying to develop my game and not and not and not get happy with with what i had and trying to get more mom and dad tall people uh yeah dad is six five and my mom is five ten. Oh, all right That's so tall. they so they knew mm-hmm. they knew they had a basketball player <laughs> That's right yeah i guess so ever think about wide receiver or quarterback 
Uh, played a little quarterback and then just yeah, grew out of football. I just had to stay <laughs> yeah. with basketball. Yeah, not, not quite as much contact in basketball. Just kind of yeah. a little contact, but not quite as much. Just didn't like I, whole... I have a good friend that likes football, so we let him take that football game <laughs> over. <laughs> right. Who's that? What are we talking about here? Uh, Eric Magnuson over at Michigan now. Oh, yeah. Who's the quarterback? Didn't we have a quarterback a couple of years ago from La Costa Canyon, Billy Ray, that went down to SMU? That won oh, yeah, our... Gary, Gary Kirstich. Yeah, yeah, he won our scholarship. He won the Great Friends mm-hmm. Foundation right, scholarship. That's right. That's right. Yep. Yeah, dude. All right, well, listen, hey, you got a lot of people around San Diego, especially those of us who live in North County, who are really proud of what you're doing, Matt Shrigley. And, uh, and I think all of San Diego, though, is loving it because, again, the best local players are now starting to stay home. Mm-hmm. And so that's a really big deal, and that was a great performance last night, dude. Well, yeah, well, thank you very much. I appreciate that. And I hope your mom and dad were listening today. Uh, I'm sure they'll find a way to hear it. Oh, your dad's definitely listening. Come on, your dad's got to be a great friend, no? Oh, yeah, big time, definitely. Come on, dude. <laughs> I mean, didn't you, like, grow up going to high school listening to Scott and BR like everybody else in this town? Huh? What? <laughs> Who? No. Who are Scott and BR? Would you please be nice? What? Don't do that. I'm only teasing you, Matt. <laughs> Just saying, you, you know, I mean, I always oh. get guys, I always get guys who are like 21, 22 that come up to me and go, dude, I've been listening to you since I'm 12 years old. <laughs> See? Remember, 2554, Scott. Right, I right. know. <laughs> 2554. Matt, it is great talking to you. Congratulations. What a performance last night. Thanks, dude. Thanks, Matt. Right. Thank you. Right. Mm-hmm.